We're in Windows Server 2016 on a VirtualBox server, and I'm going to go ahead and add a second domain controller. So we already have one domain controller here called uh, DC01, and that one's running as a domain controller. So let's go ahead and add a second one. Now, before we start, we have to make sure that our DNS is pointed to the domain controller that's running. So we go into our Network and Sharing Center, change adapter settings, right click, and go to Properties and double click on TCP IP4 and make sure that our IP address is pointed to our original domain controller, which it is. All right, we'll minimize that just in case we need it again. Let's go ahead and click uh, Add Roles and Features and go through the wizard. Make sure your domain controller, your server name is the correct name that you're going to call it as a domain controller and your IP address is also correct before you continue. We'll click on Domain Services Click Add Features, Next, and we'll let it install. Now I've also gone into the machine settings and went to Network and made sure that both of the domain controllers are pointing internally so that way they can see each other to the internal network, but I'm not pointing them out to the internet. So they have no internet connectivity, but they both are set to internal network. If you would like them to have internet connectivity and see each other, then you would leave it in the NAT setting. All right, it's complete. We'll go ahead and click Close, click on the triangle, and click Promote the Server to be a domain controller. And we want to add a domain controller to an existing domain. So we already have a domain running. Let's go ahead and click Select, and it'll prompt us for our username and password. So we'll put in our fully qualified login name. And we'll put in our password. And now it should come up with our domain, and it does. Excellent. Go ahead and click OK. Now, if you don't get this far, if it says that it cannot find the domain, then you want to go back. First of all, check that the machine settings on the NIC are set to internal, like I just uh, showed you earlier. But also go into the Network and Sharing Center and right-click on the network card, go to Properties, and uncheck TCP IP version 6. So you only want to do this on the second domain controller. The first domain controller, leave TCP IP version 6 running. But on the second one, you'll want to do that. So mine found it. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave IP6 turned on. But if yours did not, then go ahead and disable it. Uh, let's click Next. And now we're going to put in the disaster service recovery restore mode just in case Active Directory breaks. And this gives us a login. So we can still get into Windows even though Active Directory may be broken. And we're going to ignore the delegation error. That is a normal warning. And we'll choose to replicate from any domain controller because we only have the one. And we'll choose to use the default folder locations. At this point, as long as you don't see any red stop error messages, any yellow triangles or any other messages can be ignored. And that all looks exactly as I hoped it would. So we'll go ahead and click Install. And this usually just takes a few minutes. If it takes more than 10 or 15 minutes, there may be something wrong, and you may need to uh, restart this procedure all over again. However, if you have a really slow running computer where you're stretching the resources uh, as far as they can go, then it's possible it might even take longer. And it looks like it was successful. When you see this message, it means it's going to go ahead and restart. And then when we log back in, we'll just confirm Active Directory is working properly. Our second domain controller has booted back up. Let's go to Tools, and we should see the Active Directory tools. There they are. Open up Active Directory Users and Computers. And we'll expand our domain, go to Domain Controllers, and there we see both our number one and number two domain controllers all installed and working. So that's how you add a second domain controller into Windows Server 2016 while using VirtualBox.